Hello Gemini, this is your Tarot Forecast for February 2016 and as you can see I've been adding here some cards. Many of you have requested it that would like to look at the cards and it is a 36 card spread which I uh, do and uh, also offer here for your personal readings. This is how it looks like. It's an Astro Tarot spread where I do the 12 different areas of life so we can see what the card says on the various um, areas of your life. So we start off at the far left, which is the first house, and this is you, your personality, and what you can ex be expecting here for you. And it starts off here with you uh, might have been contemplating, thinking, worrying maybe even too, here about a certain matter. And this is as you're coming out of January. So in February, you start off the month and you're wondering, well, where is that solution? You know, and here we can see you're coming up with a beautiful solution, uh, with a crystal clear mind. I see you cutting through uh, to the core of what it is, and you have found exactly where to go with it. Now, financially, second house here, well, there might have been some thoughts about money that you could have received, should have received um, here in the past, because the past is coming up, and you're wondering where it is. Maybe you've been promised, you know, a raise. Maybe that hasn't come. Maybe you've been promised some higher commissions. Maybe that hasn't come. Uh, but the past is here, and I see that for right now, yes, there's a sense of disappointment in it. And yet at the same time, I still see that you have a level of patience. You're allowing it to lie still for a little bit, at least a little bit later perhaps in the month where circumstances might then just open up somewhat better. Right behind this, though, I'm seeing new beginnings, inspiration. There is a male that's going to be key for you here. Uh, he's somebody who acts upon his words. You're going to have a communication here, which I feel is um, open and direct and very inspiring. And it is maybe that green light that you've been waiting for. And sometimes patience will pay off. You could have probably run down that person and hounded them. Uh, for it, but I'm feeling here that when divine timing is right and it comes in, well, then the doors open all on their own, and in that sense, they are that much more powerful. So, I'm feeling that you, this good communication you're having from this person is actually the answer to your dream. All right, so again, new beginnings. This is going to help you here in your foundation within the home and family life. We're looking at the bottom of the reading right now here. There is, uh, if you're a male, this could be you, uh, Gemini, uh, Libra, or Aquarius, air energy. And so it's really looking at something that you want. And it could be a material thing, perhaps that you want to purchase to the, for the home, or it might be something that you want to renew, at least looking into whether you're going to go get it. It looks like you could. But at least the, the uh, research that you're doing, I think shopping around could really be good for it right now. Now, if you were a female, you might just be speaking with this man who could be a service or a salesman, uh, pointing you in the right direction for what it is you need to do. But it is related to home, property, and so forth, real estate. If you're thinking of maybe putting your house on the market, for example, you might be talking to an agent. So that could be true for a few of you. But of course, you know, this is a general reading, so we can't uh, get all of you <laughs> in here with your individual needs. But that is what we can see in a private reading. Here the fifth house, well, this is the area of joy and happiness and uh, creativity, self-expression, love and romance, too, here at Gemini. And uh, so here I'm feeling that there is light being shown on this path um, and I feel there's an empowerment there's joy there's strength and there is uh, the Sun here which is really recharging your batteries and it's important when you work hard it is uh, ace to be able to take time off and play equally hard so this month is going to allow you to look at those things that you love to do there's support for it you're not feeling bad or guilty that you're slacking uh, because this is a part of the overall life. Even in your uh, health department here, 
I see you looking into maybe a new way of strengthening your, your physiology. And uh, I feel if you're going to start working out, you have a lot of support. you got the Ace of Cups. You will find that it's enjoyable, not just a chore of something that you need to do, but in fact something that you will enjoy to do. Plus, you're building new strength. This will help you now to engage into a, a better placement for your health. When it comes to your relationship, if you have a significant other, this will pertain to him or her. If you are single, well, then this relationship, for the most part, is within yourself, the relationship you have with yourself. Now, I'm feeling here there is a, a focus on balance of uh, those things that you would like to, to have come up and out. Uh, as you can see, there's hopes and dreams here. And it's all about now surprises. You actually voicing what it is you desire, not holding back or just thinking it. How will your partner know if you don't voice it? He or she may not be telepathic, right? So when, when you find that time is right to bring something up, you might just be surprised to see how quickly things can actually manifest and come back to you. Shared time with your partner this month is going to be uh, essential. I feel it's going to balance the scales between you and it might just be your partner as well that is going to be able to find more time to spend with you. If you've been longing for it, well, you know, between the fifth and the seventh house here, love and romance, having joy, spending time together, doing those things that are pleasurable. Well, it's really looking like it, the table is set for it here in February. So enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Now listen here, Gemini, if you have... Uh, been wanting to have a talk perhaps with a financial advisor this would be a great time to do so there is in fact uh, the ability now to grow your money not necessarily just your income but your savings uh, maybe there's an investment opportunity coming your way um, I, and I feel that uh, if you're looking for a special solution as far as maybe wanting to get your interest rate down here on your home environment, remember the fourth house, the bottom of the reading here, was showing that you might be talking to a service person or an agent if you're thinking of selling or buying, right? Well, up here um, in the eighth house is shared resources and how you can grow your savings. So that could be maybe some of you might be thinking about uh, refinancing. I'm seeing here the Empress shows that growth. You have work here, meaning that you're going to dive into it and then wait for what will come back to you as far as insights in that manner. And I'm feeling right behind that. Yes, there is a female here that actually could uh, shed some light upon uh, how you can actually uh, grow um, and uh, deal with your financial situation much better. And there could even be mention of money coming from some distant place, not necessarily from right around you, but the ninth house is always like out of town, it could be out of state, even out of country. There is a female here, somehow, some way. You might hear either money coming to you or you might be speaking with this woman and she's sharing with you what's going on in her life. Maybe she's got some good tips for you. But when it comes to your um, career, top of the reading here, uh, it looks like you're ready. To move towards new horizons it looks like you've completed stage one and two as far as what you have uh, set out and done not just here in January but we can actually go back here in 2015 you worked and you worked a lot uh, I could see that you might even feel that you're at the point of feeling exhausted from all the mental activity all the thoughts all the challenges that were there um, I'm happy to see that fifth house is allowing you more space and time to have fun. Uh, go to the movies, you know, go bowling, do whatever it is uh, that, that gets your fancy. Um, but in that, it, it's more like you're lighting up a little bit, okay? It, it's like you feel you've done your strides, you've achieved a level where you don't have to be so incredibly focused like you have been. It's more like things are opening up here for you and you there, there's research being done here. Now, if any of you have any publishing, uh, for example, needing, um, then this could be that woman in the ninth spot that can come back with some quotes to you or some information 
uh, definitely, you know, it, it is a publishing area. That could also open up the doors for you in your career here. Uh, as I see that you're feeling that your back is free from a lot of those extra burdens. Now, we're talking about movement here. The 11th house is hopes and dreams and um, uh, friendships and so forth. And I, I see movement here. And so that could be travel. There is a female here, uh, a, a beautiful female inside out. She's very spiritual, very true to her heart. She is somebody who has a lot of compassion. Uh, she's very creative. So there's a couple of conversations coming up here where you're going to be sharing um, something that you're both wanting and you're trying to figure out how to do this, how to balance it out. Maybe you're setting up a meeting to meet. And in that case, I'm feeling that it's something that's going to work out for you and for her. And uh, there could be money involved in this above and beyond what the, the travel expenses but it, it could be talking about uh, how you can interact. Maybe this is somebody you work with um, or somebody that you need to engage at distance in order to bring up what it is you're trying now to achieve as far as your hopes and dreams. So uh, however that works out for you, only you will know. But we're ending the reading here on a note where there's also two men coming in. So for you, you've got two women, two men. These are really important uh, factors for you as far as moving into this new arena of your career, of what it is you're wanting to work with. And I feel, you know, some of this has already been processed, at least emotionally. It's something you've been longing for. These two men, one is very practical, one is very creative. One is a money man, the other one is a visual man. So I'm feeling... You know, with these people around you right now, you can really start taking some quantum leaps. And I feel all of that ties in to your career. So the hard work where you were treading a lot of water, doing a lot of work, getting nowhere <laughs> earlier, you're going to start seeing how it's going to come together for you, Gemini. So listen, this is what we have for February. If you haven't listened to your astrology, your horoscope for February, I would definitely recommend you to listen to it because there is a whole long list of beautiful transits coming together here that is very, very empowering. And you want to see where that shows up in your personal chart. So anyway, till next time, have a good one, and I will see you again in March.